So hi guys, welcome back to Social Buzz. This is Vanshita, your host, and today we have with us something very exciting, inspiring, interesting, and motivating. Bata to diya, chalo dikhate hain. Indian Air Force is all about. We have complex aircraft. We have fighters. We have helicopters. We have uh, transports. Could you elaborate how engineers can contribute to the operation? For the aircraft to take off, for the fighters to work, you need a technical guy behind that. What roles drones and AI play? A lot of things are going on for the advancement of uh, drones and AI. Today we have with us a very special guest who will be joining us, who has served for the nation through his patriotism and courage. We have with us Flight Lieutenant Pranay Bhagat sir. It's a mixed feeling to talk with a personality like you. So we, I have few questions for you. I yeah. hope that aligns and you can answer that. Yeah, thank you so much. Please go ahead. So my first question is, could you share with us your journey in the Indian Air Force, like? What initially inspired you to choose this path? Okay, being in the Indian Air Force, it in itself a bigger way of life. Because if you go to different branches, if you see any other corporate jobs, you have a same cut kind of work every day. But in India, Indian Air Force, every day is a new day for you. You get a lot of problems. You need it is a kind of challenge for you, and then you have to solve that. And working for your country is the best thing you can do for the nation, and that gives a sense of pride and a satisfaction when we sleep. Okay, so basically every day is a challenge. Yeah, for you. every day is a challenge. Okay, so next is what are the most challenging aspects of training that new recruits go through? Like, could you walk us through the training entails and how it shapes the future of the new officers? First of all, when you go first in the training. Nobody, even a person who can run 12 kilometers on the first day, and a person who can run one kilometer, they both are treated equally. Okay. And let me tell you, when I completed my training, a person who was running 12 kilometers and a person who was running one kilometer, you could see they are matching each other because 12 kilometer person, for him, it might be as change his pace. It, it can be different, but that one kilometer he has improved physically, yeah, and a uh, lot of rigorous training, as in physical and as well as medical toughening is done. Because being in the armed forces, you should be good at uh, physical also and mental toughening also. But it is nothing to much worry about because when you are in the training, we have uh, trained professionals, we have instructors who will take care of you, who will take care of, of your health. And uh, we have instructors who will teach you everything. So you just need to go to the training and rest. They will take care of you. B- basically, you after the training, everyone is at the same pace. Yes. Okay. So my third question is: with rapid advancement in technology, especially in defense and aviation, how crucial it is for the officers to have a strong technical background. See, for uh, you know this aircraft, we have complex aircraft and a uh, lot of technologies uh, increasing day by day. There is a lot of advancement right now. So, being in a, uh, we have different branches in the Indian Air Force. So, the technical branch we have. So, people from different backgrounds come over there. So, one is our uh, AEM and one is AEL. So, we have different kind of branches fitting in those different disciplines. So basically, their work in Indian Air Force is all about. We have complex aircraft, we have fighters, we have helicopters, we have uh, transports. So all their servicing, if they develop any snacks, so this aircraft are 600 crores, and you will get to work with so many aircraft at a time. There you will have a squadron with you, and you will be responsible as a technical guy that if this. Is serviceable, then pilots are safe. So that kind of trust is there between the pilot and the technical guy. That if he he has rectified that defect, then I can fly peacefully. So that is the kind of. And apart from this, we have computers. We have lot of 
एयर फोर्स नेटवर्क वी हैव वी हैव डिफरेंट सेलुलर नेटवर्क ऑल्सो सो आर जॉब इज टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट फ्रॉम द एनिमीज ऑल्सो दे शुड नॉट बी हैक्ट सो वी हैव पीपल वर्किंग फॉर दैट ऑल्सो सो देर आर देर इज अ वेराइटी ऑफ ब्रांचेस ओवर देर हु आर वर्किंग टूगेदर एज ए टीम basically my next question is aligned to something like that it is yeah. like as engineering students many yeah. of us are curious about the technical roles within the indian air force yeah. so could you elaborate how engineers can contribute to the operations and handling of aircrafts as uh, as just discussed now because the, uh, for the aircraft to take off for the fighters to work you need a technical guy behind that right. because if a technical person is there and if the aircraft is serviceable then only that aircraft can take off and take down the enemies if that is not serviceable who will that is of no use so technical person is so much responsible for whatever the things are going on on there in the tarmac or anywhere where the cellular networks or well let's say air force network is considered so every everything if you if you take it as a technical thing lot of things are there in the indian air force technically involved so a technical guy is responsible for all these things okay so like can you walk us through how what roles drones and ai play in the in shaping the future of indian air force you all are aware that uh, we are uh, making and we are procuring procuring also an indigenous uh, procurement and lot of things are going on for the advancement of uh, drones and ai and uh, we have collaboration with uh, Uh, H, um, DRDOs, we okay. send our people over there, and uh, lot of uh, cross training is also there. We ensure that whatever whoever is coming to the technical team, he gets aware of all the advanced technologies, and he gets to know what kind of drones we have and what is what are their capabilities, and we put them into a different atmosphere where they can change the. the complexity of that and so that the range or the capability of the drone can be increased okay so my next question is what are the key skills and experiences that can facilitate training uh, transition from corporate environment to a career in the indian air force beyond the sense of patriotism if we okay. consider yeah that is a very nice question <laughs> because uh, i would uh, really connect that because uh, i am as a i'm an engineer oh. and i i have worked for one or two years in corporate sector and after that uh, i i joined uh, indian air force so being in a corporate is a different way and been in indian air force is a different way corporate i, I have mentioned earlier also same kind of job you have a same thing Nine going to five on thing. And, yes <laughs> nine to five thing maybe after that also if you do the targets or not and basically you are not involved in physical thing also and one must he, he or she can relate that if you do the physical activities every day the kind of pride that kind of uh, feeling what you will get is totally different and indian air force gives you a chance that to make you physically and mentally both tough in corporate uh, life if i if i compare in corporate uh, life I, my job was like very i kind of used to feel bored because daily i have the same work same, some date same, same targets and and in indian air force like i am an air traffic controller so i i am the atc if there is some administration job i am there if there is some fighting i will hold i'll take the gun and i'll fight the war and like this if i am coming any task which is given by the air force i will do it no matter what so you are been there are multi task which you are and if you do if you do multiple tasks at a time it increases your efficiency so like i have already said every day is a new day you never know like i don't know what i will face tomorrow because i am in the indian air force what what country can go through tomorrow so that is a kind of situations and you always you will love that when you get that situation and you conquer that and you, you with a with a satisfaction that whatever i have done my because of me my countrymen they are safe that that is a kind of feeling it gives so next is uh, uh, one of the unique aspects of indian air force the outreach program that is the ipev 
vehicle could you walk us through what students can expect when they step inside the ipv and hands on experience that they will get while connecting with the real life uh -huh. of internet so this is basically induction publicity exhibition vehicle yes and uh, it is a we are a part of the disha team by indian air force and we are here to motivate students because i have seen that most of them are not aware like today when we interacted with students lots of lot of them had lot of queries they didn't know whether they can join they were so much perplexed whether uh, the things will go wrong whether i need to run a 15 or 20 kilometers that is a part of training that you will be taken care of the uh, instructors will take care of that so we are here for that so this vehicle is a is a very big vehicle and it has a simulator in which fighter aircraft different kind of aircraft are there you can get a sense of uh, feeling how it how we feel when someone is there in the cockpit how uh, what is it it gives the real life simulation of something correct correct okay. it, it it feels like you are in the cockpit and uh, apart from this we have different kind of screens over there for motivating students we have the uh, advertisement over there the acad advertisement on uh, career indian air force dot net dot and we have these uh, websites over there we have notifications so people can go through this notification also in the bus only it is available then we have the g suit uh, one model is kept there then uh, other things are aircraft different different aircraft models are kept and uh, their names are written uh, right from helicopters transports to fighters everything is there and uh, we have vr sets also with us the virtual reality it uh, if we if you aware that it will give, give you a sense of uh, feeling that you are actually into the academy and actually on the tarmac you can see those fighters and it it gives you uh, that feeling that you are really in that so that is a kind of uh, feeling and uh, and i must say that it is a this is a beautiful vehicle by the indian air force and everyone should visit this Okay, so my last question would yeah. be: As uh, Indian Air Force is increasingly focusing on the gender inclusivity, sure. so what advice do you give to aspiring women who hmm. would like to join the Air Force? Uh, for me, what Indian Air Force has taught me: men and women are totally equal. They are all our fighters in the Indian Air Force. So I could see that when I passed out, the so my counterparts. no matter what the gender was they equally performed like us because we had that sense of feeling that sense of pride in us and that sense of dedication commitment that you are ready to go through any training any kind of toughening whatever the uh, indian air force requires that is the kind of thing because right now you must have seen that women are also inducted in this nd also yes and afcat also we have a lot of seats for the women so we are into a real force right now and you could see big big appointments and big big portfolios where the women are taking the decision right now so i don't think uh, that someone is different in this we all are equal we all are fighters and we are all are working as a team basically it promotes equality and yeah. the so with this i would like to end it was amazing interacting with you and thank you for thank sharing you. your time thank you thank so much thank you Thank you.